Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. So I just did one video, and I'm going to attempt to do another video here before it either gets dark or rains again, or my battery runs out. <laughs> so, I have seen a tag going around about my spooky decks or whatever. So I thought I would show my spooky decks that I tend to pull out this time of year. A couple of them are brand new. That I got specifically for this season, uh, the fall season, the uh, Samhain season, or Halloween. Um, but I started pulling, and I'm like, I have 20 decks. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so I'm gonna do these in random order. I have half a battery left. We'll see how far I get. So the first one, and this is my last purchase, recent, most recent purchase, is the Jack O' Lantern Tarot. I just did a walkthrough of it the other day, yesterday, because I got it yesterday. These are the backs. And it is pretty cool looking. I didn't think I'd like it after I got it, after I saw a walkthrough of it, and then I got it, and I'm like, oh, I do kind of like it. So, I canceled this deck, not once, but twice. I got it off Walmart.com because it was about $4 cheaper than it was on the Willen. Even though it's a low scare barrel deck, it is on Llewellyn's website. And I got charged two different times for it, and I canceled it two different times, and then the next day it showed up. So, yeah, this after I did the second cancellation. So, yeah, that's crazy. Um, and then the, they didn't take ever credit me for the first time, so I still paid for the deck. So that is the Jacqueline from Tarot, which I can't wait to start trying to use this Halloween season. It's cool. So that's one down and 19 to go. Next up is my Tarot of the Haunted House, which I used last year. I love this deck so much. I really haven't used it since then. It is also a little Scarab Barrel deck. These are the backs. Um, I love it. It's got this whole story going on in it. It's pretty cool. Pretty, 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 pretty cool. Um, I love the colors. Uh, I love this. Um, I love that it's almost like real people in certain ways. Like I could totally see that being the groundskeeper. It's a hermit. Um, it's really crazy and cool. And it's got this nice storyline that goes with it. It's very beautiful. Um very vibrant in some places really cool I'm trying to find the sun card that's my favorite card in here this card it just screams um, like a haunted house thing thing so does this one That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And you got all these dark cards. There's the chariot. All these dark cards, and then you got the sun card. I'm trying to find right now. <laughs> this guy. <sighs> Let me get through the whole deck before I find it. Ouija board. Pretty interesting deck. The twins. Crazy. Dead girls. Oh my gosh. I cannot find the sun card. This is the sole reason I bought this deck. And then I was just like in love with it. It's Everything else is pretty dark. And then this, this beautiful sun card that just... <laughs> completely different. Um, but yeah, that is the Tarot of the Haunted House. Tarot of Haunted House. I always call it just the Haunted House Tarot. People know. People know what you're talking about. So we got, I just got these two, the Edgar Allan Poe playing cards. The reason I, they're in this is because they have little quotes from his poems. And I can totally see me using that um, in like an affirmation thing. And I keep pulling this, quote, the raven nevermore from the raven. Anyway, that's pretty cool. And then the hearts 
in this deck are literally a heart. So I thought that was cool. So that is the Edgar Allan Poe playing cards. You can't find these anywhere anymore. I had to get these off eBay. The Alchemy on 1977 England Tarot. Just got this as well. I love it. Love it. Love it. It is dark. It is twisty. It is everything Halloween should be. It's the backs. Uh, I love the wands. They're beautiful roses. Just gorgeous. Magician. Pentacles. Swords. It is a pip deck. But I don't care. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love it so much more than I thought I would. Because um, of the, some of the majors are pretty dark and twisted. And we have the cups, and it looks like they're filled with blood. Pretty cool. Pretty cool cards. It's my neighbor's leaving. The queens in this are fantastic. String card. It's just awesome. Awesome, twisty, vampire dark dark deck for halloween the hangman it's a mummy beautiful beautiful so yeah that is the the devil yeah i love it very dark and twisty this deck and for that reason i love it and i would totally use it during the halloween season um, so that is the Alchemy 1976, I mean, 1977 England Tarot, which has, was on my list for a very long time, and I just got it recently. The other one I just got, the Sugar Skull Tarot deck, ultimate deck for using this time of year. It's beautiful. I don't like the cardstock, but everything else about it I love. It's gorgeous. And my battery's draining faster than I thought it would. So we got to get through these. And it's very Western, very Old West Mexican American style deck, which I love, 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 love hard. All right, so we got that. And I'm sorry I'm rushing through these because I got quite a few more. And we have my Practical Magic Inner Witch Oracle, it's a Kickstarter. Um, these are the backs. It's got a shimmer to it. It's beautiful. And it's based off of the movie Practical Magic. Um, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. We have the Mausolea Oracle of Souls Oracle deck by Los Scarabero. The backs. I love it so hard, and I bought it because I needed it in my life, and I haven't really worked with it in the last couple of days. It's like it's almost that time, and like. It's time to work with this deck. Love this deck. So twisty and dark. And you know what? It would go great with that Alchemy 1977 deck. Tarot deck. Fantastic with that. There's the Fairyman. I love it. It's dark. And twisty. And I love it. Yep. That is the um, Mausolea Oracle of Souls tarot deck. I mean, horrible deck. We have this. Can't have any Halloween decks without the Santa Marta Tarot. Come on. Um, and I love it, love it, love it, love it. And I don't work with this unless it's this time of year. I thought I would work with it more often than this, but I haven't. So, but this deck is all about Santa Marta, Day of the Dead, and I love it. Love the vibrant colors. Love everything about it. Fantastic tarot deck. Especially for this time of year. 
That is, yes. If you don't have this deck for Halloween, it's to me like the ultimate of all the decks I got here. Well, and the zombie tarot, which I'm going to show you in a second. But we also have the Santa Maria Oracle published by Los Carabero. It is, I haven't actually used this at all. It's got a Ouija board on the backs. Um, the backs, if you put them all together, it's one giant puzzle. It's a Ouija board. <laughs> uh, but it's beautiful as well and different. And I love beautiful and different. Love it. So that is the Oracle deck that goes with the Santa Maria Tarot. Okay. And next we have your holiday tarot decks would not be complete without the zombie tarot. Here's the backs. I adore this deck so hard. I love the cardstock. I love the it reads oh, amazing. It's not some kitschy little creeper deck. It is a fantastic reader and I love it so hard. This always comes out this time of year. And sometimes when I just want to laugh. If I really need a laugh, I pull this deck out. It doesn't matter if it's spring. Um, it's beautiful. And it just makes me giddy. <laughs> just makes me giggle. So that is the... Oh my gosh. Um, Zombie Tarot, the book, cracks me up. There's advertisements in the back from like the 50s style. Uh, like Zombie Gone. Um, Stuff to make your skin look like you're not a zombie. It's just hilarious. I got these at the, um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's stuff all on there. Uh, dirt stuff on there. Got these at the Halloween store last year. They go um, at work, and they're on, last year I did it as a display. I'll probably do that again this year. Uh, but they're just fun little tarot decks that's got different fantasies, different, like a zombie. Was there any pentacles? Um, it's got ghosts. It's got vampires. It's got this, this guy. Yeah. It's really cool. Really cool deck. So, yeah. That is the, it's just called tarot cards. And I dropped it. But yeah, this usually goes on a display at work, and people draw a card if they feel, feel they need to pull a card from it. Um, so yeah, there's that, and it, it's got stuff all over it, but it looks like that in the Spirit Halloween store. Then we have Wisdom of the House of Night. Now, this isn't deemed to me as a halloween -y deck, but I'm going to use it as such. Just because it's witches and it's stunning and it's very dark, very dark deck to me. And it's gorgeous oracle cards, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's witches, vampires. It's got the candle. This is, a, I would say, a perfect oracle deck to use for Sally. That's a very close. I could see people in the windows of that plane. <laughs> That's how close that was. Uh, but yeah, this is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, Samhain deck right here. So that is the wisdom of the house of night. So yeah, I guess it is more of a witchy, Halloweeny deck, and it is silver edge. I don't know why they didn't make the corners round, but they're very sharp. I cut myself on the corners of these. That is my only eh with this deck. Because it reads fantastic. So next we have, and I'm it's not normally a dark deck, the New Era Elements Tarot. It's dark. <laughs> and I tend to only pull it out this time of year. It's stunning. If you do not want your truth pulled out, yanked out and shown to you, don't buy this deck because it will. It will do it so hard and so fast, and you'll be like, what happened? Um, it's a very, very dark deck. Like, yeah. Nine of Swords. Awful. But good at the same time. 
So yeah, that is the New Era Elements Tarot. And we got the, oh my god, I've got like seven decks left. And <sighs> Magic View Oracle, again, not a Halloween-y type deck, but it is one I tend to pull out this time of year. The book is great. This is probably one of my favorite Oracle decks out here. I've used it so many times for so many things. <sighs> this card haunts me. It's darker art, but at the same time, it's magical. And I will let you know if this video cuts off um, because my battery may die. Um, I'll do the rest of the video. Magic of you, Oracle. I'll do the rest of the video in part two. But I'm trying to get through them. So that's the Magic of You. Gorgeous. Um, the Nightmare Before Christmas Tarot deck. Again, probably a deck you should have in your staple for Halloween. It's amazing. <laughs> Um, I didn't think I would like it. The backs are gorgeous. I love it. Love it. Really just just love it. It reads fantastically. Didn't think I, it would. It does. It reads well. It is a pip deck. Partial pip deck. I don't care. I love it. And if you want any of these in full view, I've done walkthroughs of all these. So just find them on my walkthroughs. Because um, I do have a playlist of walkthroughs. You'll be able to see them. So that's the Nightmare Before Christmas. Ah, and then we have the Supernatural by Minerva Siegel as well, which was also did the Nightmare Before Christmas. Supernatural Tarot. Look at the box. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Gorgeous. Total witchy deck. Total demonic dark deck. And I love it. I never really worked with this. It really never resonated me with me like the other one did. But um, it is a darker deck. Very dark deck. I'm trying to find the world here. It is, yeah, see a pip deck. Partial pip deck. Anyway. Yeah. Death. Death is the guy that played Death in the show. That is a great deck, too, though. I love the bags. It's very witchy. Ah, four decks left. Hopefully I can get through this video. Halloween Oracle. Again, you can, that collection would not be complete without this, tarot, this Oracle deck. Love the book. Love the deck. The backs are a little childish, but the fronts are amazing. Uh, amazing. Very glossy. <sighs> Gorgeous. Gorgeous Halloween deck. Rightly named. Gorgeous deck. <laughs> So, and I'm sorry, I'm I, like I said, if you want a full walkthrough, there I've done walkthroughs of all these. All right, Tarot de, Nilu, de la Nue. Again, a dark deck, not necessarily fit for Halloween, but it is a vampire y kind of deck by Low Scarabero. Love the backs, ah, it's a beautiful, very body beautiful. I don't care, it's gorgeous, and it reads like a smart ass, and I love it for that. Very smart ass deck. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful deck. <sighs> Look at that. Come on. Look at that. It's full, beautiful. Tower, beautiful. It's just a beautiful deck. So that is the Tarot de la Nuit, and they are getting ready to come out with a Oracle deck. I am all over it. Because if it is half as beautiful and reads half as good, it's going to be fantastic. Down to two. So we got the, again, no collection will be complete without the Deviant Moon Tarot, which I haven't even opened yet. Published by U.S. Games, this one is. A very weird, eclectic, and the only time I would pull this deck out is this time of year. Unlike peop some people, I do have kind of an aversion to this deck. Um, I got it super cheap, used, 
That's the only reason I have it. Um, it came in a bundle with other decks. Um, it's very weird and strange and very, to me, Halloween-y. Um, but it does read well. So that is the Deviant Man Tarot. <laughs> so, last but not least... Oh my gosh. We have the Antique Anatomy Tarot. And it took me forever to find this because... I saw it on Amazon forever, and I'm like, oh, it's 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 fine. I'm gonna be able to get it whenever I want. And then when I went to buy it, there was nowhere to be found. And ah, there's the backs, and I did edge it in this like wine color, which kind of gave the fronts a little thing, but it also kind of made it aged on the front um, more so than it was because it kind of bled. But I love that about it. It's a pip style deck as well. But this also is one of those decks that's very, to me, very fall, very <sighs> Samhain type of deck. Not necessarily Halloween, just um, a Samhain type deck. Um, but yeah, this is, um, it also, to me, calls to me during the spring as well. And I love this Wheel of Fortune. Love it. It's probably one of my favorite Wheel of Fortunes ever. I have a few, but that one's up there. But yeah, that's a gorgeous, gorgeous deck as well. I don't really use it until it hits this time of year. I've had it for a while. Um, but yeah, that's all my decks. I just went through 20 decks. <laughs> Sorry I went through them a little fast, but I'm almost out of battery already. Like I said before, I think I need to get a new computer because I can do a 20 minute video and it's almost dead. And it's fully charged when I start it. So, we're at the 22 minute mark. I've went through all the decks. Again, I've done walkthroughs of all of these decks. If you decide that you want a further in-depth walkthrough, um, you can go to my playlist and see them for yourself. But I will, I forgot where this tag came from, but I'll go ahead and let you guys know in the comments below. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos. And you guys have a good night. Bye.